hey hello everyone welcome again to my channel the creative agile it so in today's video i am going to share how we can use jira for agile team retrospective so we will understand like uh, what one of the app that we can use for a jira project whenever we are uh, performing the retrospectives for agile team so i am sharing one of the project which i have created and this is the project team uh, test 24 this is the key which is assigned automatically and the type of the project is company managed software and uh, created by creative learning which is the admin so if i simply click on this project so we can see uh, this is the left navigation which includes timeline backlog active sprint reports if i click on the backlog so this is a newly created project so right now it's empty uh we do not have anything being created here so let's say uh we want to use this particular project to perform teams retrospective so we can see on the left navigation if retrospective plugin or app is installed we can see the retrospectives uh, being mentioned here in the left navigation so how it got installed to this project i will briefly explain so i already have a Atlassian marketplace opened in one of the tabs so what we will have to do is in this marketplace we simply search for retrospective and if i search for this one so this is the one which i have installed this is called agile retrospectives for jira and this is by catapult labs llc so if i click on this one and uh, so i am explaining like how we can find this plugin so this is one of the plugin and if i click on let's say try it for free this is not a free version but i mean it, if you want to try a free trial uh, for a limited duration we can simply explore so it says like login to which site we want to install since i mean i have uh, given it my site which is basically this site creative learning with simple.atlassian.net and that's how it got installed to that particular site so if i click on login okay so once you log in it will ask you to which site you want to install this app so what i have done is i have given it my site and since it is already installed uh, so i'm simply uh, you know canceling it because uh, it is already installed to this particular site and that's the reason you know we are seeing it in our left navigation now another thing that we can verify is if we click on the project settings and try to open it in a new tab so here as well we can have a look at you know how many apps have been installed so here if i click on the app so we can see you know some of the apps like you know microsoft team integration retrospective which we have already installed and through the settings we can turn this plugin on and off so uh, we can see here like this is the name of the app as i retrospective for jira and this is the app visibility which which says like you know when enabled the azel retrospectives app will appear as a section in this project sidebar so right now it is turned as on if i turned it off so that means app visibility is off so it will be removed from the navigation so we can simply verify if i come here and try to refresh it so now we can see the uh, retrospective is not visible it is uh, turned off now let's try to turn it on so now now the app visibility is set as on and uh, if i now refresh it we can see the retrospective so here we can see the retrospective now what we will have to do to in order to <clears throat> use the retrospective to perform teams retrospective meeting we simply click on the retrospective and uh, what we can do is we can click on the new retrospective and let's say this is sprint 2 retro and uh, we will keep the default option which is basically what went well what didn't go well and uh, we will also keep uh, these default preference settings which is the like votes per topic is 1 so we will simply click on the save session okay so now the session or the retro session has been created so whoever has access to this project i mean all the team members they can join by clicking on the join session so if i click on the join and uh, since i am the moderator so what i am doing is i am saying okay let's start this retrospective so it got started now we can simply minimize it and now uh, for these particular columns like what went what didn't go well so now i am also participating as member so let's say what went well i'll say team collaboration was good
so I have to simply click on enter okay maybe we can say commitment from team this is another idea that I want to share right what didn't go well let's say requirement uh, changes were often maybe we can say lengthy meeting right so I'm done I have shared like two ideas what went well what didn't go well I say I'm ready and then I go to the next and uh, here we can also do the grouping I mean let's say there are other members who have all, all already contributed to the ideas and we want to create groups so we can do that now uh, let's say I am also ready with this stage I click on next and now uh, comes the uh, voting part so let's say I am participating as a member and there are so many ideas which are listed here so which idea I want to vote for so let's say I am voting what went well uh, team collaboration was good this is a good one idea out of these two uh, maybe I want to focus on requirement changes for often this is one of the thing that I would like team to kind of emphasize on so I will just click on this particular option now I am done with my voting so I say I am ready and I go to the next so here we can see uh, the topic uh, so what we can do is it says like you know create action items for each of the topics so the uh, items or the ideas where maximum members have voted those, those will be listed here so uh, this is fine because this is a positive thing let's go to the next so requirement changes for often so maybe for this I can create uh, action item which is basically uh, backlog refinement meeting from next sprint so maybe uh, we need this particular idea so we can create an action items and let's say we can assign it to one of the members so it, it got assigned to the creative learning and uh, this can be done for all the topics that team has identified where maximum votes have occurred and then we can create the corresponding action items now if I say I'm ready so I can simply click on uh, you know yes the retrospective is kind of done and if you want to kind of like take an export so we can simply click, click on the export CSV so now the export has been taken and it will give us a list of so here we can see uh, this is the uh, action item that we can see right so that's all about today's video I hope you guys liked it and uh, if you are new to this channel kindly share and subscribe that will definitely help me and motivate me to share more such learning videos uh, thank you